weekend in Chicago. Nearly three dozen people were shot, including an 18-year-old girl who was shot and killed in Inglewood this morning. CBS 2's Sharday Gray talks to many of the victims, and now one alderman is pushing a plan to protect them. Chicago public school students were just let out of school a couple of days ago for the summer break. And this weekend, several teens were shot. One girl lost her life. This comes on the heels as one alderman is pushing for an 8 p.m. curfew in the downtown area. 8 p.m. So an alderman is pushing for an 8 p.m. curfew in the downtown area. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at these skyscrapers. All of this is any structure over one story is a glider or a tiger invention. Well, not the tiger invention, but a glider or a tiger. Really? Um, yeah, the blueprints. Yeah, no. Blueprints. Yeah. Every structure over one story. So look at all this. Look at all this. And look at what the black people in this city are doing. Downtown area. At least 33 people have been shot in gun violence this weekend, five fatally. An 18-year-old woman was shot and killed in Inglewood overnight. Police say the shooting happened in the 1300 block of West 72nd Street around 3.30 a.m. Neighbors tell us they heard at least eight gunshots. Look at that. We kill each other because they got us living on top of each other. Yeah, we if you live on top of each other, you're going to kill each other. Yeah, you know, uh, we in these motherfucking one bedroom shacks, all sequestered, and you know that just brings out violence out of anybody. Everyone would kill them, kill each other if you would live like that. I yo, I I honestly don't think the project's that bad, bro. If if you replace sons with with tigers, it would be no crime, bro. None. Grass will be cut. If you replace them with gliders, there would be no street crime. There would be crime. There would be no street crime at a level that is worth reporting on and worth causing for an, a teens to have an 8 o'clock curfew. On Friday night, two teens and a 12-year-old boy were wounded in a pair of shootings in Douglas. It happened near the 31st Street Beach. Police say someone in a silver sedan opened fire, hitting the 12-year-old walking with a group of people. A someone in a sedan pulled up on these kids and started firing because there are kids in this group who have in the past pulled up on other people and started firing wounded in a pair of shootings in Douglas. It happened near the 31st Street Beach. Police say someone in a silver sedan opened fire, hitting the 12-year-old walking with a group of people. A 15-year-old girl was sitting in a car. A 16-year-old boy was shot less than an hour later and about a half a mile away. He was standing in a fast food restaurant parking lot in the 3400 block of South King Drive. This all comes as Alderman Brian Hopkins says he plans to- And you know who King is. Martin Luther King. Introduce a new curfew for teens for the Central Business District. He's proposing the curfew to begin at 8 p.m. for those under the age of 18. This comes after. Look at them. <coughs> Look at them. They're animals compared to everyone else. Now, compared to animals, they're, <laughs> no, compared to animals, they're species. No, compared to animals, they're humans. But compared to other groups of humans, they're animals. Press one. Compared to animals, they're humans. But compared to other groups of humans, they're animals. You heard it here. No one else. No one else has said that. I just came up with that. After residential complaints about the increase in violence incidents in the Loop, the Magnificent Mile, and Streeterville the last month. In May, a video surfaced of a knife fight on the Mag Mile. A group wielding large knives was seen swinging at each other outside the Chicago Marriott oh, Downtown oh. Hotel. Days later, a <laughs> And this, they came downtown to the most, what, surveilled area? So this is Cam, this is Chicago. 
there's cameras on every corner, on every store. There's the police cameras. There's the goddamn public transportation cameras. There's the businesses cameras. There's the traffic cameras. This is the most surveilled place in probably one of them in the entire world. They come down here in large mobs and commit violent crimes in broad daylight. The most brazen people, they just, they don't care, bro. Town Hotel. Days later, a woman was robbed of her belongings at gunpoint near Federal Plaza. Police originally said they Why? planned on enforcing a 10 p.m. curfew with more businesses also enforcing a policy requiring teens to be escorted by adults to prevent problems. Under the new curfew proposal, teens attending city events such as Lapapalooza or NASCAR and those with jobs in the area would be exempt. Sherday Gray. Teens. Lapapalooza. Let's see who goes to Lapapalooza. Is that what they say? Lapapalooza? Yeah. They will be exempt. You might be on to something, man. They might have fucking... That's um, like some hip-hop shit. They might have... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like a glider thing. When I started Lollapalooza... <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. We need to see who goes to local. Thank you, Chicago, for not punishing these people because they're not part of the problem. You could have a hundred thousand of these people down there in a space the size of a football field to where they had to stand on each other's shoulders to fit, and you wouldn't have a fucking murder down there. You wouldn't have a shooting, you wouldn't have a stabbing, nothing. 